good morning to you that is my bagel i am eating my buff bagel i've been so obsessed with these bagels lately because they're anywhere between 15 and 18 grams of protein if you're somebody who struggles getting protein in i always suggest trying to do it in the morning like have your biggest highest protein meal in the morning that way you don't have to feel like you're playing catch up for the remainder of the day and this is like such a great way to do it because it's not chewy it's not disgusting it's fire this is my first pre-training meal of the day. We do have two sessions today, although one of them is just boxing. I'm gonna hit up the LA, the LA Fitness around like 7.15, and then I have boxing at three. So a pretty decent amount of time in between both of those. So welcome to the full day of eating. Hope you enjoy. Supplement and pre-workout time. I feel like if you know me, you know I don't really take a lot of supplements. These are kind of just like my current my current OG staples, this is Build from Driven. This is a phosphatic acid. And this is honestly just what I really like to take when I'm doing my growing phases. I swear I feel like when I take this product, I feel like I look more muscular. So, joint support. I did switch to a fish oil that is made from sardines instead of a lot of times they use salmon and it's just good to switch up the type of fish oil that you're taking. And then of course my crazy pills because they do be costing, you know. To be honest with you, I'm really not a pre-workout girly, but I will say I do really like this flavor, the coconut. It just it straight up tastes like a pina colada. And I just, I love those very, and honestly anything coconut and it's you know it's seven o'clock in the morning okay so a little pre pre drink this on the way to the gym it's 707 and i'm ready to go and it's a very dreary day here today so i'm not super pumped about it but that's okay so we're gonna get a good workout in box later i'm so pumped okay time to get a good morning pump on back back from the gym hello big boy lately my current hyperfixation has been protein cereal but not in the way that you would think if you're someone who struggles with getting your protein in what you could do is use a fair life milk as the base so i'm just using almond milk because i personally like to eat a lot of meats and things during the day so i don't necessarily need it but this is a great way especially if you train in the morning maybe if you want to have a bowl of cereal before your workout you can do eight ounces of this plus your protein. So what I'm gonna do is grab myself a little cup and we're gonna first pour our cereal of choice. Mine is golden graham. I don't wanna hear shit about the sugary cereal. This is post-workout. I have to run and box later. Okay, listen, your girl's gotta eat. We eat nutrient-dense foods throughout the day, okay? Eight ounces of almond milk, a scoop of vanilla. This is the most plain, not overly sweet, I just, I can't with the overly sweet and like gross aftertaste protein, I can't do it. This is the only one mild enough that you can use for protein cereal, in my opinion. Mix it all up, make sure you don't have any clumps in there. Ooh, whoopsies. This next part is optional. I am gonna add a little bit of ice to the milk because I personally enjoy when my cereal milk is very cold, but then we're not gonna pour the ice in the cereal. We're gonna drain the milk out. A little 
blueberries in there. And this is post-workout meal number, arguably my favorite. Because I'm running late and Kim's here because I go with her. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going with her to the, uh, the surgeon daddy's office. So you already know. Alyssa's bites. Oh, and really quickly, I am gonna bring one of these because just in case I get hungry afterwards and I don't have like food food, I'm bringing one of these. Don't know if I'm eating it yet, but it's it's for the ride. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It's already out there. Oh, are you outside? Are you so happy? Oh, a little soft spot for you. Oh boy. Oh, oh we're crazy. You went to Santana outside. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I just got back from uh, Kim's appointment. I just went with her for a little moral support today. And it is now 1230, which is literally perfect because that is lunchtime for me. And I actually didn't prep anything this week. So I think what I'm gonna do is just grab some just meats. I've been using those recently. I think I'm just gonna warm them up on the stove. So I'm gonna use the sweet and spicy pork. Honestly, for as many meal prep companies as I have tried over the years, I can't do the like protein carb fat meal preps, you know, like the ones where you're reheating like soggy veggies. I just can't do it. So this is basically just a protein only company. So it's like vacuum sealed. And when I get these, I put them in the freezer and then I defrost them in the fridge overnight and now it's good to go and I'm gonna heat it up on the stove top. It kind of reminds me of, you know those sous vide chicken thighs from Trader Joe's? That's what this reminds me of. They're cooked, but they're not like, I mean, they're cooked, but they're not fully, fully cooked. You know, you just need like that little extra crisp. And I, oh, freebie. I personally like that they're in small pieces like this, you know? So we're just gonna pop this on the stove. And the macros for these are actually really good. And it's not high in sodium, which I find really difficult with meal prep companies in general. So for 4.5 ounces, which is the meat as is, remember anytime you're reading a nutrition label for anything, it's 99% of the time referring to the item as is. And obviously we don't have the uncooked version. So this is 4.5 ounces, six fat, three carb, and 35 protein with only 190 milligrams of sodium. And then, just a little bit of this sweet and spicy marinade. I'm putting that on top. eating the protein bar because we weren't gone for as long as I thought we were gonna be gone for. But that is something that I do tell my clients as well. If you're going out to do errands or something, or honestly just regularly, keep like a protein bar or protein chips or something in your car, in your purse. If you do end up getting stuck out somewhere, you can just like snack on something that's protein heavy. And that's a really great way to make sure that you're getting enough protein in your day. And of course, just like an easy tip is to increase your protein serving by like half an ounce or an ounce. So if you're somebody who normally does three ounces of protein, do four. If you're someone who does four, do 4.5. You know, there's definitely easy ways to increase your protein that don't heavily rely on drinking multiple protein shakes a day or six or seven ounces of chicken. Like I personally cannot eat six, seven, eight ounces of grilled chicken. I just can't do it. I do have quite a bit of client check-ins to do now. So I'm going to eat this, go back to work, and I have to change, obviously, because I'm gonna go to the boxing gym. I'll probably eat before then, too. A little snack. And we are back. I just finished filming another video. Did you go parties? Oh, look at her out in the little chair. Oh my goodness. 2.20 right now. Come on, ladies. And I'm not super hungry. However, I know that I'm gonna be at the boxing gym for a little bit. So my pre-running, like light snack, I grabbed, let me, let me put you guys onto these. These little non-crisps from Stonefire, I don't know what it is about these things, but they're so good. So I'm having a couple of those with a little cheese stick, which is also a great way to get in some extra protein. A little cheese stick snack in between the day. Now this, 
This is hummus that Joshua made me with these little non crisps, okay? <laughs> they're like, they're so tiny, but they're, I don't know how to explain this. They're hard, but they're not. Like when you bite into them, it kind of feels like a burnt edge of pizza, you know? So I'm just having a little bit of this, a little extra protein. And 30 minutes before I run, I definitely, well, I'll probably wait to start the run to like 3.15. I don't want to eat too much. So this is really just to make sure I'm staying fueled and not ending up starving after the fact. So that's that. I'm gonna go put my running shoes on, go downtown, and then I am filling up my cup with some aminos. These are by far my favorite aminos. The lemonade ones are so good. It tastes like actual, like fresh lemonade and not like the packets. Like it tastes like they literally made them with lemons. That's gonna be my little pre, pre-running setup. And I'm gonna have to leave in about five minutes. So I'll be back. By that time, it'll be dinner time. And I honestly really have no idea what I want to do for dinner. So we'll figure it out as we go. I've been showing you guys like high protein things. I wasn't really paying attention. I've eaten so much protein today. I only really need 13 more grams left for the rest of the day. So I'm currently at 127 grams of protein, 185 carbs, 19 fiber, and 39 fat. So I do have quite a bit of room left for dinner, mostly carbs and fats. Uh, that is not ideal. That's why I always tell you guys, plan your days out ahead of time. <laughs> And if you're wondering how I tracked this uh, hummus, I didn't. I'm just gonna be honest with you because Josh made it, it's homemade. I probably had like maybe half of a serving, if that. If you really wanted to, you could go in and you can search like a generic hummus and just log like a third of it, a half of it, whatever. I personally right now, I'm not in any type of cut. You know me, I'm just eating to maintain the level of working out that I'm doing, the muscle mass that I have. So for me, it's more important to make sure I eat enough. So if I'm under by a little bit with hummus, not the end of the world. Although on the other side of things, if you are on a cut and you're really trying to be like precise and super on point with your things, that does add up throughout the day. So, you know, disclosure, but I'm gonna be real and I'm not tracking it. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. I am so glad uh, that I decided to have that snack beforehand because I'm starving and I knew I would be. And the only thing that I had on the way back was this prime energy drink. No, it's not energy, just hydration. And it only has five carbs, but it's just really good for like when you sweat a lot and it's getting so hot in that boxing gym, like drench in sweat. I did also, oh shit, stop at Publix. I picked up some more of these little strawberry vanilla Olipops. These have been, ugh, I've just been loving them lately. And I was out of grapes. Another thing I've been hyper fixated on lately. And I don't know if I'm gonna have the patience to do the eggplant parm, but I did wanna make some pasta. And because I had so much protein today and I don't have enough carbs and fats, I just figured I would get some regular old pasta. This does have veggies in it though, because you know, I want to make sure I get enough veggies in. So I'm gonna do some pasta and perhaps some eggplant on the side, depending on how much patience I have to actually make it. So let's get it going. crumbs and the eggs you could but honestly I'm making so much more for meal prep so I could if I really wanted to I could log like maybe one fourth of an egg but I did use one serving of this now the reason I'm not adding like an actual protein to the, the meal is because I'm 
like I said, well over my protein. And the pasta itself has eight grams per serving, which I only did one. Then plus the little mozzarella cheese thing, I'm already over my protein by three grams. Then we're gonna add some eggplant. I am gonna track a little bit of the eggplant which is now just ready, which is amazing. And eggplant is honestly really low carb and low calorie as well. Ready for it? I don't wanna ruin it. Hold on, let me, let me get it from the side. Maybe. Careful, SpongeBob. Oh my God. Okay, look at that. Amazing. I am so excited. I've been craving these eggplant farms for so long. And then on top, a little bit of parsley and the Olipop. You wanna try it? Yeah. Ew. Mm. Fire. Mm. Okay, showered 7.05. It's a little early for the nighttime snack. However, I'm probably gonna have a second nighttime snack because I'm extra hungry. I'm already at 16,000 steps today. That's a lot. But Yasso Bars just came out with a new flavor. Well, two new flavors, strawberry and fudge. And I, f look, I already ate the whole box. Love the strawberry one. I really am partial to the sea salt caramel one, but the strawberry is quickly becoming my new favorite, especially for summer. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. So it is the end of my night for me. 8.30, that's the end of my night, okay? <laughs> I go to bed by 9.30. And I need to, you're gonna see these in my favorites video at the end of this month. But if you can get your hands on these things, like I cannot even explain to you how good these are. These I think are my favorite Oreos of all time. Now with that being said, and total macros for the day, 149 grams of protein, which was nine grams over what I like normally have. 305 grams of carbs, which again, right now, I'm at 17,378 steps. I don't really fully know how accurate, you know, like the calories that you burn are during the day, especially like on, you know, a Fitbit app, but this is what it's saying for me. For calories burned so obviously i want to make sure i'm eating enough for that and yes you know i am a nutrition coach who does not eat super super clean and to be honest with you i am not like ashamed or embarrassed of that in any way because over the last what has it been six seven years that i've been coaching i never struggle with dieting or bulking or maintaining like my relationship with food is fine. And I, I largely attribute that to just eating what I wanna eat when I when I wanna eat it, within reason, you know? Like, I just feel like that helps me so much because, you know, I'm somebody who I can eat one or two of these and put them away because I allow myself to eat those types of things throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like, if you're somebody who's obsessed with like eating clean, whatever, and like no process, someone of course always comments about me eating processed things. Everything is processed to some degree. Some things are more processed than others. Your vegetables that you buy are processed. There are, there's no thing on earth that you're eating unless you're going out to a garden yourself and, and for, farmaging it. <laughs> That's not the word I'm thinking of. Whatever, harvesting it. You, you like, you're not gonna eat no processed. So anyhow, with that being said, I feel very strongly about allowing the 80-20 rule to exist because it just prevents me from like eating this entire thing at once, you know? And I don't need to do that because I eat fun all week and I like my food. So that's where we're at for the day. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe so you never miss a Monday with Manders. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you have a lovely Monday and I will see you in next week's video.